Are we rolling? Okay, let's go. What's up people, welcome once again to Smart Kicks and this channel is all about shoes. Today I'm going to talk about this very important topic for all the runners out there. When should you actually discard your running shoes? Now this topic has not been talked much by any YouTuber in India. So I thought why not pick this topic and help all the Indians specifically out there. And also I'm going to share two methods that I use to keep a track on my running shoes durability and its performance. So let's get straight into this. Also guys, I want to request you all, if in case you like this video and if you feel that the information that I share through this channel is helpful to you, please subscribe to the channel and also don't miss out on sharing this video with your running buddies. Moving forward, we all would agree that running shoes are the most important gear for every runner and hence it becomes extremely important to keep a track of its performance. As per the global standards, you should discard your running shoes anywhere between 400 to 500 miles. That comes around to 650 to 800 kilometers. Now here's the thing which is very important there are so many other factors also that you should not ignore when you take this decision like for example in India most of us run on roads so if in case your shoe is actually a road running shoes it might give you good response for longer distance runs because these road running shoes come with non abrasive sole for example I used an A6 gel Cayano 26 which I've reviewed on this channel also and I realized that those soles were made of a non abrasive rubber material that means the shoe sole is still good enough to continue for long distance run and can go up to 700 or 800 kilometers also now you would wonder how to keep a track of kilometers like you can't really count every day for that reason I want to share Strava with you I know a lot of people a lot of runners are using Strava most of the genuine and professional runners use Strava to track down their performance but do you know that on Strava you can add your gear and actually keep a track on how many kilometers your running shoe has performed okay before I start sharing this information about how Strava helps you to keep a track of your running shoes let me tell you that this facility is only available on the desktop version and not on the Android or the mobile app so now let me share you my screen of Strava login so here's the screen when you go on to your profile section just click on settings and there you can see an option my gear here you can add your running shoes just select the name of the brand and you go on to name the running shoes and you can if you see here you can also choose on how many kilometers the Strava app will notify you and here if you see carefully you can also keep a threshold as to when Strava will inform you that your running shoes has crossed this distance so now if you see here I have ran in four to five running shoes and my most performed running shoe is Kipran KD plus it has already crossed 350 kilometers and it is still very good if I have to show you the outsole check this out here this is the outsole of my Kipran KD plus it is still pretty intact but if you see there are very slight marks of pressure on the midsole so once this actually starts pressing too much that's the time when I get an indication that this shoe should be discarded and I should start looking for an alternative to this particular shoe so guys using this technology by Strava you can actually track down the performance of your running shoes and you would actually know when to change your running shoes I generally follow this method that the moment my shoe hits 650 mark that is 650 kilometers I start looking for options because obviously I'll be running 100 kilometers more in that shoe that will make it 750 kilometers so so within that 100 kilometers, I'll buy a new pair of shoes and if there is any break-in period involved in the new running shoes, I can still take time on my Kipran shoes and then switch on to the new running shoes. If in case you're not aware what break-in period is, you should actually start following me on Instagram because there I keep on making reels where I share information about various shoes and shoe brands. So if in case you don't want to use Strava as a base for tracking down the mileage of your running shoes, you can follow this method. I used to follow this method when I was in college so you can easily have an idea about how many kilometers you cover within a week and on the basis of that calculation if you multiply that by 4 you get a figure that will give you an idea about your monthly mileage and this way you can actually figure out in how many months you're crossing 650 kilometers or reaching 800 kilometers now some people end up using their shoes beyond 800 kilometers which can actually have a severe impact on your knees heels and your leg bones so kindly do not attempt this stunt because it has an adverse effect on your health and I'm sure you would not really want your health to deplete while you're running 
to keep yourself healthy so make sure that you go in for a new running shoes it's actually not an expense it's an investment thank you so much for watching this video till the end and i hope you found this information helpful if yes please like the video and subscribe to the channel right now i would love if you can share the video with your running buddies also and you can start following me on strava to track down my performance and feel motivated in a way it feels really good to connect with like minded people on other platforms as well so why not connect on instagram as well i'm there on instagram by the profile name of smart kicks official you can start following me right now on that note guys you stay fit and keep watching smart kicks